In the previous section of the course, we printed workbooks and worksheets. In this section of the course, we are going to automate repetitive tasks by using macros. In this first segment, we are going to enable and examine macros. For this exercise, we are going to use the volume highlights underscore start workbook, which is located in your practice files folder. To open that file, click the file tab on the ribbon, and then click open. Navigate to the folder that contains the file, volume highlights underscore start, and double click the file. When you do, you might see a security warning bar that indicates that the workbook contains macros and asking if you want to enable content or not. We do want to work with macros in this exercise, so please click the Enable Content button. To start, I'm going to save the file under the name of Volume Highlights. To do that, I will click the Save button, then click OK to indicate that yes, I do want to make a copy of the file. Navigate to the folder where I want to save the file, and then change the file's name to simply Volume Highlights, and then click the Save button. Now on the View tab, in the Macros group, click the Macros Buttons down arrow, and click View Macros. This displays the Macro dialog box. Ensure that the Highlight Southern Macro is selected, and then click Edit. Doing so causes Excel to open the Visual Basic Editor and display the code for this macro. In the Visual Basic Editor, click the Close button. This causes Excel to close the Visual Basic Editor. Now in the Macros list, click View Macros, verify that Highlight Southern is still highlighted, and then click Step Into. The macro appears in the Visual Basic Editor with the first macro instruction highlighted. To run the first instruction, press the F8 key. This causes Excel to move to the next instruction, skipping this line in green, which is a comment. Press the F8 button again which causes Excel to implement this instruction, which highlights cells B4 and C4 in the body of the workbook. Now press F8 twice, which causes Excel to change the font color of cells B4 and C4 to red. Now click the Visual Basic Editor's Close button. Excel displays a warning dialog box indicating that closing the Visual Basic Editor will stop the debugger. In other words, it will stop you from being able to step through the code. Click OK, and the Visual Basic Editor window closes. Now in the Macros list, click View Macros. Then in the Macro dialog box, make sure the Highlight Southern Macro is selected, and click Run. The macro dialog box closes, and Excel runs the entire macro. Now on the Quick Access Toolbar, click the Save button, which causes Excel to save your work. In this segment, we enabled and examined macros. In the next segment, we are going to create and modify macros. In the previous segment of the course, we enabled and edited macros. In this segment, we are going to create and modify macros. For this exercise, we are going to be using the yearly sales summary underscore start exercise file. I have already opened that file, and as you can see, based on my machine's configuration, I have I've already opened that file, and as you can see, based on my machine's configuration, Excel displays a security warning bar here in yellow, indicating that workbook macros have been disabled. We want to use macros for this exercise, so we click the Enable Content button, which enables macros. 
Now we can save the file by clicking the Save button on the Quick Access Toolbar, clicking OK to indicate that yes, we do want to save a copy, navigating to the folder where we want to save the file, and then changing the name to Yearly Sales Summary. That name looks correct, so we can click the Save button. Excel saves the file, and we can begin with the body of the exercise. On the View tab of the ribbon, in the Macros group, click the Macros arrow, and then in the list that appears, click Record Macro. The Record Macro dialog box opens. In the Macro Name box, delete the existing name, and then type Remove Highlight with no space between the two words. Click OK to have Excel close the Record Macro dialog box and begin recording the macro. Now select the cell range C4 through C7. The text in these cells is currently bold. Then on the Home tab, in the font group, click the bold button. Doing so removes the bold from these cells. Now on the View tab, in the Macros list, click Stop Recording. When you do, Excel stops recording the macro. Now click the Macros button again to display the Macros list, and click View Macros. Now in the Macro Name area, click Remove Highlight, and then click Edit. Excel displays the Visual Basic Editor with the Remove Highlight Macros code displayed. Now edit the line of code that currently reads range C4 colon C7 dot select so that it reads range C3 colon C9 dot select. So here is that line of code, range C4 through C7, and we want to change it so that it says range C3 through C9. In other words, we want Excel to select the cell range C3 through C9. Now on the standard toolbar of the Visual Basic Editor, click the Save button to save your change. And then on the title bar of the Visual Basic Editor, click the Close button, which closes the Visual Basic Editor. Now select cells C3 through C9, and format them as bold by clicking the Home tab on the ribbon and clicking the Bold button. Now click cell C9 to remove the selection from the other cells. Now on the View tab, click the Macros button's down arrow, click View Macros, and click Remove Highlight. Then click Run. When we do, Excel removes the bold formatting from cells C3 through C9. Now on the Quick Access Toolbar, click the Save button to have Excel save your work. In this segment, we created and modified macros. In the next segment, we are going to run a macro when a button is clicked. In the previous segment, we created and modified macros. In this segment, we are going to run macros when a button is clicked. For this exercise, we are going to use the performance dashboard underscore start workbook. I've already opened the workbook, and you can see that based on my computer security settings, Excel has displayed a yellow security warning bar indicating that macros have been disabled. I want to enable macros so that we can complete this exercise, so we click the Enable Content button. When we do, the security bar disappears. With the file ready to go, I can click the Save button on the Quick Access Toolbar. 
Click OK to indicate that yes, I do want to save a copy of the file. And then navigate to the folder where I want to save the file and then edit the file's name in the file name box so that it just reads performance dashboard. With that in place, we can click save and begin the exercise. On the quick access toolbar, click the customize quick access toolbar button and then from the list that appears, click more commands. The customize the quick access toolbar page of the Excel options dialog box opens, displaying the popular commands category in the choose commands from pane. In the list of available commands, click view macros. To do that, we scroll down and we are in the popular commands list and click view macros. Then click the add button which adds the View Macros button to the Quick Access Toolbar. Then, in the Choose Commands From list, click Macros. So this is the Choose Commands From list, and we click Macros. The list of available macros appears in the pane. In the Choose Commands From pane, click Savings Highlight. So scroll down, and there is the name of the macro. Now we can click Add to add that macro to the Quick Access Toolbar. Now in the Quick Access Toolbar pane, click the Savings Highlight command and then click Modify. The Modify button dialog box opens. Click the blue button with the white circle inside it. It is the fourth button from the left on the top row. Then click OK twice to close the Modify Button dialog box and the Excel Options dialog box. On the worksheet, right-click the Show Efficiency Shape and then click Assign Macro. The Assign Macro dialog box opens. Click Efficiency Highlight and then click OK. The Assign Macro dialog box closes. Now, on the Quick Access Toolbar, click the Savings Highlight button. That is the blue button with the white circle in the middle. Excel runs the macro, which applies a conditional format to the values in the Savings column of the table on the left. Click any cell outside of the table to release the selection so you can see the format. Now click the Show Efficiency Shape. Excel runs the macro, which applies a conditional format to the values in the efficiency column of the table on the right. On the Quick Access Toolbar, click the Save button to save your work. In this segment, we ran macros when a button is clicked. In the next segment, we will run macros when a workbook is opened. In the previous segment, we ran macros when a button was clicked. In this segment, we are going to run macros when a workbook is opened. This is the last segment of Section 12, Automating Repetitive Tasks by Using Macros. In this segment, we are going to use the run on open underscore start workbook. I have already opened that workbook, and because of my system security settings, Excel displays a security warning bar indicating that macros have been disabled and asking if I want to enable content. We do need to enable macros for this exercise, so we click the Enable Content button, which causes Excel to remove the warning bar. Now we can click the Save button on the Quick Access Toolbar. Click OK to indicate that yes, we do want to save a copy of this read-only file, and then edit the name of the file in the file name box so it just reads run on open and press enter to save the file. Now we can begin. On the view tab of the ribbon in the macros group 
click the macros arrow, and then in the list that appears, click record macro. The record macro dialog box opens. In the macro name box, delete the existing name and type auto underscore open. Click OK, which causes the record macro dialog box to close and Excel to start recording your actions as a macro. Select the cell range B3 through C11. Then on the Home tab, in the Font group, click the Bold button twice. The first click of the Bold button formats all the selected cells in bold. The second click removes the bold formatting from all the selected cells. Click cell C11, and then on the View tab, in the Macros list, click Stop Recording. Excel stops recording your macro. Now in the Macros list, click View Macros to display the macro dialog box. Click Highlight, and then click Run. The contents of cells C4, C6, and C10 appear in bold type. Now on the Quick Access toolbar, click the Save button to save your work, and then click File and Close to close the workbook. Now click the File tab on the ribbon, and in the Recent Workbooks list, click Run on Open. When you do, Excel displays the security warning bar again. Click Enable Content, and Excel closes the security bar, and it also runs the macro named Auto Open. The result of this macro is that the contents of cells C4, C6, and C10 change immediately to regular type. The macro removed bold formatting. On the Quick Access Toolbar, click the Save button again to save your work. In this segment, which was the last segment of automating repetitive tasks by using macros, we ran macros when a workbook was opened. In the next segment, we are going to work with other Microsoft Office programs.